Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Library's Filmora Training. Episode 4, Making Cuts to Video, Adjusting the Speed of a Clip, Adding Transitions, Using Split Screen. Now that we have our clips ready, let's start actually creating our story. With this craft, I have several different shots to display the different steps in the process and some photos of the craft to show it in action. Before you get to the stage, you should review your footage and make notes about pieces you do and don't like so you can quickly get to editing. You should also have a plan on the flow of the video. I know that I want to open with a title screen, have some titles interspersed, show the steps to make the craft, have a view of the completed craft, and close with a call to action. So now what I'm going to do is double click my shot so I can see where it opens here in the viewer. And I'm going to start to play to find where I kind of want it to start. So I've got me sitting down and kind of resting. So somewhere around there is where I'm going to cut because I've got a neutral expression and then I jump into talking. So I'm going to move this playhead over a little bit and right about there looks pretty good. So I'll give that a play. All right, that looks pretty great. So this first little bit, I'm going to select it, right click, and then come up here to delete because I don't want that piece at all. And this particular clip I tried to shoot as a single clip so that there weren't any mistakes, but I do need to figure out where my end point is going to be. So I'm going to drag my playhead over to the end, around about here where I kind of have a nice big smile, and we'll play. And so it's about kind of there where I start to get up. So let's move this over. Nice big smile there and cut. And I'm going to write, make sure that that other piece is selected. Yep, there we go. And delete that. So then this clip, as we kind of go through it quickly, we'll show this is the craft. Pretty happy with how things are. And then it jumps into the next one. So what I'm going to do is continue to making cuts and just making sure that everything is good with that one. And we'll jump into the second one here to do the same thing with our beginning and end and making sure that those cuts are done pretty well. On this process shot, as well as the other two that I have, I've got some sections of the clip that I don't really want my viewers to watch because it's going to be a really long time of watching a period of cooking or mixing so I'm going to first, of course, set my in point where I want that to kind of start. I can either press the play button here or I can press the space bar on my keyboard. And I've got a few seconds here. Make sure you have an adult's help. Please. And I'm starting to talk, but then I, oh, I've got a little section there where I want to restart. Make sure you have an so right around here, and let me just listen. Make sure you. So we'll give a couple more seconds of dead air there, and I'm going to cut right there, and let's give that a shot. Make sure you have it. That seems pretty good. So with that fit selected, I'm going to right click again and press delete. So I'm going to, again, cut at the step where I want my clip to increase in speed so that it's just that little bit that will actually be fast. Otherwise, it'll be the entire clip that's going to go really quickly. So I'm going to drag my playhead over a bit like this. And I've already kind of looked at this. And I know that I want my cut to start somewhere around after I point at the pot. So I'm going to 
probably around there. Give it a couple seconds more. Give that a cut. And let's see here. And that keeps going. Oh, I've got a spot here where I'm talking again. So let's see here. Somewhere around here. Let's see what's going on. Next, you're going. Because I hear the word next at that point, I want to be cutting it a couple seconds ahead. So maybe. Next. Maybe about here where I fold my hands. We'll cut. And we'll make sure that that actual word gets caught in there. So let's just play this a little bit and see if that'll be where I want it to go. Next, you're going to. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to select the bit of my clip that I want to speed up and come over here to the speed option. So I have options to go slow um, by varying degrees, fast by varying degrees. I can do normal. I can reverse it if I wanted to, but I'm going to try fast. So we can see what two times fast looks like. And as you see, it shortens the clip by coming over here with the playhead, pop, pressing my space bar, and, put it into pot. and then it starts to speed up a little bit. It's not bad. Still a little slow for me, I think. So let's see what four times looks like. And put it into the pot. Next, you're going to take and it slows down again. A cup of peanut butter and put it in. So I think I like four times. I think that makes it fast enough that it's pretty clear what's going on, but it's not too fast. So I'm going to keep doing that along this clip, but we won't show that here because you don't really need more than more than that for demonstration. The next thing we're going to show is transitions between shots. So that'll be mainly between my opener to my step one, and then my step one to my step two, and step two to step three. So if I've got a cut, we'll pretend that we make a cut over here on this one. Maybe we want to cut it there, and we want to cut here, and we're going to pretend to do that. So that if we were to go over it, it's a pretty big, not that big of a jump in between what's happening, but enough of a jump if I wanted to do that. So if I didn't put a transition in between this little line here, that would be called a jump cut. And you've probably seen something like that in videos before. And it looks like someone's talking a lot about one thing and then it jumps to them doing something else. So if we were to do a little cut like this, we'll make it play. And then it jumps like that. So that would be a jump cut. You can do that if you want to. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, totally up to you for your preference. But I'm going to go ahead and undo those cuts. So I'm pressing Control Z for my uh, undo. And now I've got my whole clip again. What I want to do between my different shots is add in a fade transition. Let me get it out of this for half a second. And so what I'm going to do is come up here to my transitions tab so that I can actually find the fade option and then drag it into my timeline where I want it to have it. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and it goes, as you can see, it goes in between. So I could put it really anywhere, but it pretty much snaps to where those differences are. So I want it to go right in between there. And if you want to take a look to see what that kind of looks like, you can press the space bar. Make and sure it looks a little something like that. So something that I'll probably want to do there because my fade is a little quick is on my clip here, I want to just make it go a little bit longer. Oh, not quite that long.
There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit smoother of, of a transition going on there. All right, so I'll keep doing that along all of my clips. Just click, hold, and drag in between where I have everything going. I can move that around a little bit. So that one is a little, that one's a little tight, but I'll fix that up later. And so that'll give it a nice kind of consistency between. If you change it up a little bit, it can be a little bit distracting if you're constantly having different uh, transitions there, but that's totally up to you as the editing artist. The next thing I want to do is add some photos for a split screen. So first I need to choose the layout that I want. I've got three photos that I have, so I'm going to have to work with the options available. So we'll come here to split screen and we can see for three photos I've got an option like this. Um, maybe something could look like that. Or maybe something like this. I like this option quite a bit, so I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click, hold, and drag it over here to the very end. And I'm going to make that go a little bit longer. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag at the very end of it until that double lined arrow shows up so that it goes a little bit longer. So with this selected, I'm going to come on over here to my media wall where I have all of my pictures, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag them from the media area into my media previewer here. So I quite like putting, I want to have that one first there, then the picture of the woodpecker, and then this last picture over here at number three. So from here, I can actually change the size, move the picture around the space, or delete the image if I don't want it in there anymore. So I would double click it. If I want to increase the size, I can kind of make it go up and down like that. I think I like, or I could also press this little button here. Um, that's probably okay, but then as with this little arrow along there, I can move it around a little bit. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to come over here to number two. I'm going to move this so that you can see more of the shot of the woodpecker. And make sure that that fills the whole space and there's no black there. And then for number three, I want to increase the size of that quite a bit. And we'll close that, and yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that, but if I'm not, I can always change it at any time. If I want to do more editing with my photos, I can also come here to this little edit button, which brings some more options. So you'll see this little pop-up box up here. So I can change things about the image if I want to change the color a little bit. Maybe I want color enhancement or a white balance. And I can also change how long the transition is and where it lives. If I want to come first, you know, before the other ones, I can do that as well. I don't really feel like I need to edit the photos or where they are going to be appearing in the length of this split screen right now. So I'll leave things as they are and press Oh, and I want to save this, and I don't really want to save it. I think everything's okay like that. So now that I've kind of got my clips in the order that I want them in, I'm going to add in my title card or my video opener, and my end card or my video closer. These clips have been standardized for Vancouver Island Regional Library, so I won't actually need to edit or change them at all. So I'm first going to exit out of my split screen viewer there, and I'm going to come up here to my color pour, which is my title card opener, and my also my end card um, identification here. So I will click, hold, and drag it so that it comes before my opener there, or my title pour there, or my color pour there. And then I'm going to click, hold, and drag my end card so it happens right after the split screen. So we'll drag the playhead over and and that looks pretty good. And what does it look like as a transition? 
So I'll probably want to add in a transition there to help make my story kind of uh, move a little bit easier there. We'll probably add a title card as well. So I'll keep going with the rest of my main story with making sure that those cuts are in there, the items that are sped up are sped up the way that I want them to be, and then I'm getting pretty happy with what my story is telling me. The next thing I'm going to do once I have this kind of base story ready is I'm going to adjust the audio both for sound quality and if I need to I'll also be removing audio from some of my clips. Join us in our next video to see how that works.